It's official, boys and girls. We're going to the dyno. The camera, or my SD card decided to crap out. I had to format it, so I lost all the footage of finishing it up. But it doesn't matter. We're, we're sorry, but we'll, no. uh, we'll, we'll fill you in on everything we did on the way there. So, let's get rolling. It's a little rainy, or we'd show you everything real fast. But it's all yeah. topped up, ready to go, so. It's pretty nasty out, so let's get on the road. See if we can compare the two, see if there's any difference. Sounds like a slight mess. Drop down, ready to go. What's she gonna make? supposed to go to the engine hooked up as signal grounds so we were getting a bunch of weird readings and that's why the throttle position sensor was bouncing up a little and that's why our relay block or box was not having any ground now it has ground and we're ready to go we're ready to make some pulls to the dyno ready to go he had it under load for a little bit and then he started losing the crank signal so we quickly ran to the auto parts store grabbed a crank sensor and grabbed some of our tools and i think that we're going to be able to get this sorted out that 
that might have been a problem guys hopefully it's all fixed now Made it back and our engine is in one piece. But we were unsuccessful. As you can see, we're here and you guys didn't see any results from the dyno, not even any full pulls. So it was a uh, interesting day. We learned a lot and it is what it is. So we're just gonna give you a quick rundown of what went, one went on throughout the day and uh, the problems we faced. So initially our first problem was the spark plugs. They were fouled from, uh, you know, trying to run it so rich. And we actually figured out that the fuel was almost twice what it should have Double been. what it needed for idle. So, you know, he gave us the, when we got the computer, he gave us a base tune that he thought would be decent. It wasn't decent for our setup. So it was giving us twice the fuel. So, that was the first problem. Figured out the fuel issue. We still had stuff dancing around, like all the send, like all the signals that were dancing, like the t the throttle position sensor, this and that. He asked me about the ground, so I um, explained my grounding situation, and he realized that you know I grounded it incorrectly. So what I did was off of the mega squirt harness instead of sending the, I used the the grounds that are supposed to be grounded to the engine as signal grounds and so basically I had to cut it real fast ground it to the engine ground those to the engine because it was right out of the loom and then take those and bring it to the correct signal grounds voila we got our relays back we got our relay ground back and it was time for another pull tried to do a pull and lost crank signal so we took the crank sensor off because the wiring looked fine everything looked good and we discovered uh a she's pretty old and pretty crusty so looks like it might have melted or something the end yeah, is at one point or pretty another shot. it's pretty uh got pretty toasted so we we kind of figured that was the problem and we actually ran to the auto parts store we got a brand new one slapped her in 80 bucks later and same issue so at this point we checked the wiring and uh he said he it was said all good it was all good and everything's good use multimeter check the resistance and the we really think that because it was running fine it was idling fine you could blip the throttle a little bit but in the higher rpms and especially under load the it would you'd lose it completely but so. he was also losing it just in neutral, no mm -hmm. load. So, so he said that we should really switch to a GM crank trigger. And what we got to do for that is we got to put a pulley. A new harmonic balancer that is, uh, I think it's the 36 minus one. Yeah, it has teeth. 
and we need to set up a way to put so so essentially it's a new harmonic balancer and a bracket for the mount for the trigger that's going to go and sense that missing tooth and then we just got to rewire to that sensor and then we got to change a little bit in the mega squirt so instead of it being on a jeep crank trigger it'll be on the gm crank trigger instead of the j tech or whatever yeah and apparently it is a much better way to figure it out and we won't lose the signal then and we can finally get a number out of this thing it's something that we were debating doing and we honestly we figure that the mega score says that you can run it with your factory crank position sensor and we just figured if we didn't have to do it for now we weren't gonna but avoiding the inevitable we're gonna end up doing it so tune in next time guys hopefully we get a little more progress on this big old two-door dumpster but it runs now at least it idles we can move it around so always a successful day here tune in next time Thank <laughs> you.